Hi, it's Candy with Mosaic Moments. Today I am working with the Circle Mats and Tabs die from the Mosaic Moment system. And this set actually comes with five dies. You get two large circles, two smaller circles, and a little tab that you can do some pretty cool techniques with. So I want to show you what I've created using these pieces. This is um, a page that I've done. Um, in Akron, Ohio, they turned an old Quaker, Quaker Oats factory and silos into a hotel. So this shows the different parts of the hotel and I thought the circles were particularly fitting since, you know, the rooms and the hallways and everything are circular because they're all in the silos. So what I did first is I cut out using the largest one which covers three squares each way and made a frame out of that and then cut my photos and put it in. And then I did it again with the medium size one which covers um, two squares each way. And then I did it a third time with the little one and the little one is cool because you get two so you can put them both on your machine at the same time and run through and get more cuts out of each time that you do it. Um, with this one, I didn't use a photo inside. I put in a different side um, kind of paper. So I want to show you really quick how easy that is to do. So I'm going to get my Big Shot. You can use whatever machine you have available to you. And I'm going to take, this is just um, pen and paper. I'm going to put it on here and make my little sandwich just like I would, um, you know, whatever your machine's requirements are. We're going to crank it through, and then we're going to get two pieces out of this die. We're going to get a circle insert, and we're also going to get um, the little, the outer piece. And this piece fits perfectly on the grid paper, and then you can use the circle insert um, would fit inside. So on my page, I actually cut this out twice. And so I did the outer portion here, and then I cut it a second time with the contrasting paper and did the center circle, which I'm going to tuck right in here to help finish up the page. Then you also get in this set this little um, tab die. And what, I, what you do with this one is again, you're going to make your little sandwich. Put the die on, put the top plate on, crank it through the machine. Look how easy these dies go through the machine. And then, um, with this one I found that sometimes you have to use um, a toothpick or a crafter's pick and poke through that little hole to get it out of here. It sticks a little bit. Um, and I did a lot of these because I made a title out of them. So what you're left with is a piece that's like this. And it has this little section. I hope you can see this okay. Um, there we go. And you can just clip that right on your page. You don't even need adhesive. So what I've done is I used it to make my title. And I cut one out for each letter. And then that little back piece goes behind. The little front piece goes in front. And it just wedges right in there. And there you have your title.